What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here and today we are upgrading the Lenovo LOQ gaming laptop. This is the 2025 version with the NVIDIA GeForce 5060 in it. So a very new laptop and we are going to upgrade it with some very new tech. So before we get started, this video is brought to you by Playcast. Playcast is an awesome way to basically play it forward and power the future of gaming. Find out how at playcast.io. So onto the actual products themselves. We have a Wi-Fi 7 and tri-band BE8800 here. And this is gonna upgrade our Wi-Fi from Wi-Fi 6 to Wi-Fi 7, enabling a much faster throughput. And a very uh, small form factor card here, and this is just gonna be a direct replacement, hopefully, with the original Wi-Fi adapter. And then we also have the Samsung 990 Pro. This is a PCIe 4.0 NVMe M2 drive at 74, 50 megabytes per second so quite a fast drive this is going to be compatible with uh, your ps5 and things like that but we're going to be using it in our laptop here let's go ahead and open it up and here it is very very cleanly packaged there and we can pull off the bottom and we are given the instruction manual and uh, warranty information here so easy access installation guide all that good stuff but now we want to actually get into the laptop. So I'm gonna adjust the uh, camera here so that you guys can actually see the desk a lot better and see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm gonna try and keep this in frame here, uh, but we're just gonna turn this upside down just like that. And we're gonna work on taking out these screws so we can get to the actual hardware. All right, so I've got a screwdriver here. Let's see if I can get through this pretty easily. That is not the correct size. This one might get a little bit of a better grip. Let's try that. All right, slowly but surely, it did come out. Let's try this one up front. Whoa, these screws really want to get stripped. I'm going to try. These are at an angle, so I'm going to try and push down a bit. There we go. Just have to get in the right angle on those front ones. They are a little bit shorter as well. There we go. That's a lot easier. All right, so we're going to turn it and continue over here. This is a longer one as well. Looks like there's so far two screw sizes here. So not too much to get mixed up. All the flat screws are these ones. All of the uh, diagonal screws are the shorter ones. Let's confirm with these last two. This should be long. Yep. And this one as well. So yeah, all those look to be the same size. Perfect. Now we're going to try and get underneath here somehow. So let's see where a good access point is. All right, so now we need to get in somewhere around here. Now we're gonna have to figure out how to, this is a very, very thin entrance here. It's gonna be a little difficult. We may have to actually use this to lift it a little bit. It's not a great idea. We did it. Okay, so that was much tighter of a squeeze than I expected, but let's go ahead and continue to pop this open it looks like it's going to not be too hard now it's a little brutalist but we got to get these little things unlocked we're getting there all right so with a lot of fighting back it looks like we got in and uh, we can now see the inside of this Lenovo LOQ you'll notice on this left side here we have the Wi-Fi adapter with its antennas and then we have the M2 slot, which is right here. So let's go ahead and do the M2 first. All we need to do is pull this out, push it in here, and we're just going to secure it in place. Easy as that. We're gonna do the same for the Wi-Fi slot here. I'm gonna take that off, we're gonna pop off the card and then pull off these two antennas all right so now we're going to get the new card which is an intel be 200 you can see that there and we're going to attach the two antennas by simply snapping them on you'll hear a small snap and then we can go ahead and plug it in once it's seated we're just going to use the included screw so there we go brand new wi-fi 7 brand new NVMe drive. We're just going to push this antenna cable out of the way of the NVMe. 
and we are good to go. So what else is on this board that we can see and access? We have another M2 drive over here that's expandable. So we could replace this one in the future with one of these. And the battery looks like it's easily replaceable as well. Everything seems very modular. Individual pieces here for the fans and uh, the cooling system. Honestly, it seems like a great and easy board to work on aside from trying to pry it off the uh, case, of course. So now I'm just gonna place uh, the included heat spreader here. It's not too great. It's just kind of is what it is, but it is included, which is nice. And then we're gonna close this back up and everything just snaps right back into place. If you can't tell, this is a very secure laptop. Now we're just going to screw everything back in. So remember that the uh, front angled ones are the shorter screws. So we'll go ahead and put those first. And then we're just gonna go ahead and continue with the longer screws all around the outside of the case. And now the ultimate test, did I break it? No, I didn't. Let's see if everything shows up as expected. When I go into disk management, there's one uninitialized disk. Let's go ahead and initialize that. So it looks like I did find the two terabyte drive here. And now that it's online, we can right click and create a new simple volume. We'll assign the drive letter D, that's fine. And now we've got the two terabyte drive here. Let's also check our Wi-Fi adapters. Oh yeah, it would help if I actually updated the drivers, right? So yeah, I will need to connect to Ethernet to check that, but it looks like everything went smoothly. Uh, but yeah, it looks like everything got connected just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and install those drivers now and start using Wi-Fi 7. Looking forward to comparing the difference and seeing how it works. Thank you guys so much for watching and hope you have a good one. Peace.